everyone. Welcome back. Um, this is the last video in the Christmas in July series um, where I made this um, traveler's journal as my um, December daily. So I'm going to show you the last little project that I have and then um, we'll do a little quick flip through um, in it. So I have this one last piece of 12 by 12 paper and I have this large pocket in the back that I wanted to put something in. So um, what I'm gonna do is I've already folded it to make sure it fits. Um, so I just folded it in thirds and then I'm gonna fold this down because I like that kind of Christmas tree with this red on the edge. So that's what I'm gonna put in there. Um, but I don't just wanna put it in plain because you know, we can't do that, right? So I wanted to show you a couple of things um, that I do. Um, and I'm gonna get out, um, I have a, a, like a sill pad, like a, you know, that I use when I do painting and stuff. Um, you could use a paper bag, you could use, um, you know, anything to kind of protect your, your surface is probably a good idea. Okay, so I have um, a fan brush, but you don't need a fan brush if you just had a, even a little, just a little normal paintbrush would work. Um, and then I have my bone folder, but I have that not to actually fold. I have that because what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use it to tap on the brush. So I'm going to make some splatters. So I have um, this gold paint in a little jar. This is one of those little Tim Holtz jars that probably cost me a million dollars and I'm using it for paint. I have three of them and I have paint in all of them. Um, so I just have some gold acrylic paint in here along with some water just to water it down. And I always have to shake it up because it's um, it all settles and separates. So just shake it up and let's see if I can open it. <laughs> So there we go. So I'm just gonna dip the, the brush in and I kind of wipe it off so it's not so, you don't want it super, super juicy. And then I'm just gonna tap, I'm gonna do this with my right hand cause I'm right handed. I'm just gonna tap the brush I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of, it's a little dark this morning. And I didn't turn my light on because it, when it's, it's darker like that, it makes sh a lot of shadows. I need a better, I need to get a ring light, I think. So I hope that you can see that it's kind of got, and I'll lift this up in a minute and show you. Ooh, those were really big. Sometimes when I use paint, I feel like Bob Ross and I'm making happy little accidents, you know? I actually have a video I'm going to do um, with another project that I'm working on with a happy little accident. And it really is a happy little accident. I actually love how it turned out. So, um, and then I'm going to, I'm also going to do some white. And again, same thing, white acrylic paint um, in a jar with some, um, with some water in it. And this one is really hard to open. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one open. I might have to get a knife and pop it. So I'm just gonna wipe the brush off with a baby wipe. Just clean it off a little bit. And then I usually shake it, tap it, um, just to kind of get those to fan out a little more again. Um, sometimes I use a paper towel and just kind of like um, dry it a little bit. So I have the white paint. I'm just going to dip that in again. Same kind of thing. Just dip it in. I usually just tap off some of it. And then we're just going to make the white. You could do this with any color, obviously. Um, I just have, I have these three jars. 
these three Tim Holtz jars. Ooh, those were big. I don't think I wiped that off enough. Um, that I keep um, white and gold and black in. So I, that's what I keep in there. So again, I'm just going to wipe this off with a baby wipe. Um, you know, I didn't really saturate it so much that I was painting with it and I got it all stuck up into the, to the bristles. So I just, I just usually wipe these off when I do this, um, with just a baby wipe, um, and then let it dry. So, um, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to, um, come back. I'm going to ink all the edges. And when I come back, I will show you. So I'm going to use this. Let me tell you what I'm going to use this for. That would probably be a good thing. Put the lid on my paint so I don't spill it because that I'm notorious for that kind of thing. Um, I am, um, going to use this as like, kind of my shopping list for, um, for the holidays. Um, and, and, you know, I could also, you could also use it, um, to make collage in your book. You could use it to, um, you know, you could tear it apart and make it a little notebook that could go in there depending on what you're doing. But, um, there's lots of things you could do with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and it's pretty, um, pretty um, simple and this one's double-sided so it is red on the back so I could you know I could turn it over and do that same thing on there um, but I don't really think I'm going to use the back at all just keep it the way it is I might write on it um, if I run out of room on the front um, but the gold and the the gold's already starting to dry and I don't know if you can kind of see um, I'll lift it up a little bit more I don't know if you can see it. It might be too dark. I'm trying to get some sun. The sun's just kind of coming through the clouds right there. Um, so I just kind of like how that looks on there. And the funny thing is when you first do it, you don't really see the kind of really tiny splatters. So you don't really see them until you get them in the, in the light. And then you can see there's lots of them. And it looks kind of cool. So um, I'm going to do that, and while I wait for that to dry, I think I'm just going to do a little flip through. So this is what it looks like on the front. So I have my cover. Um, I just put a little card here with a little tag and those numbers. Um, there is a pocket here. Um, I don't have anything in that pocket yet. Um, I thought it might be actually kind of funny to put receipts or something in there, you know, but then I thought there's probably going to be way too many receipts. I probably should have put the receipts in the back one. Um, um, in the front here, I have one of these cards from um, Dust to Roses, one of their um, Christmas postcards, French Christmas postcards, I think is what they are. And then this little tag is from the shabby, um, I'm sorry, My Porch Prints kit. So they're all white on the back, so you can write on them. So that tucks in there. I left this page blank because I like that Santa with the big Eiffel Tower. Um, on this side, I have this little cluster that I showed in the last um, in the last video I did, and then another little postcard that goes in there. Here I did a tuck spot with um, the Christmas music. I just cut the top of it off and then put in a card for that. I decided not to do the numbers, um, mostly because I am trying to keep this without. I mean, it is, it's already, um, you know, full for the most part. I mean, if I fill it up, it's, it's going to end up being like that anyway, I'm sure. But I didn't want it to be that way before I even got started. So... Um, cause I do want to add photos and, and such to it. Um, you know, maybe some pretty wrapping paper for presents that we get, that kind of thing. So, um, on this side, I have another one of those postcards and this one, um, flips out, um, piece of coffee dyed paper, 
um, I took um, some of that paper that I had, um, and I have to remember who made that kit. Um, I will post it in the, the link. And I just had that one piece of paper because I ran out of ink, um, but I really liked it, and I think it goes so well with this. So this is just a little tag. And again, I didn't put anything on them because I didn't really want the big bulky stuff. I mean, I might later as we go along, like put, you know, if I get a ribbon on a package, I might put a little ribbon on there. Sorry, that car was really loud going by. Um, here's in a little tuck spot um, with another postcard. They're all just postcards or little books. Um, this is a piece of paper from the My Porch Prints that I made a little um, tuck spot out of. And they have a little booklet in there that I just put in. Um, another little flip out one. This is the center, another one of those, um, like this, and two cards. These actually have shabby dabby doo -da, um printed paper on the back. Um, here I did an envelope with a little cluster on it. And inside there is a little book. This is also from my porch prints. It was a freebie um, on their Facebook. So this little book goes in here. And this is that paper that I'm gonna post in the in the comments. Yeah, here's another piece of it too. So here's another little postcard with a little tuck spot. Here's another one. Yeah, I use this paper for a lot of the little tuck spots. Um, and this teal that was in the Ruby Rocks it um, paper pack. Um, here I just did a little one. I just have a little one clipped to the top. It's just clipped up there. Here's another little cluster that I have a little. And these little pieces here are from the the um, my porch prints kit. Um, here's the cluster we made for the the last video. That I just glued on and there is a tuck spot there um, I haven't put a card in there yet but I'm going to I haven't decided which one I want but I really like how this this whole kind of layout works together because um, the teal in this and the browns and the brown in this and then this one I made kind of a little flip um, tuck spot and then we have the end and I'm gonna put that in here so that is basically this this little journal um i hope you enjoyed this um i know some of these videos were a little short um but i think this 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 journal is a little small so there's not a lot i can do with it or that i want to do with it to make it so big and bulky that i can't actually use it either you know I mean if it was so bulky you wouldn't even be able to write in it because it'd be all bowed up like this and trying to write and stuff so um, I wanted to try to leave it as flat as possible so I could write in it um, I can add some small photos um, and um, you know some some you know like I said in the beginning like you know if we do a cookie exchange or I get a nice recipe or something from someone, I could add it to it. So that is the kit. Um, and um, I did find, I will tell you that, and I have a little a couple little spots. I have another little spot here and I have some couple in the back and I don't know if you can see them kind of right here. So um, I use, because I use Fabri-Tac, it's kind of shiny. It's got a little shine to it. So it kind of showed up on this. So I have these, um, I bought them at Walmart, I think. They're, it says they're called Art Naturals, um, but they're sanitizing wipes. Um, and they have alcohol in them, 75% alcohol. But they worked really well. I had some um, of those little shiny spots down here, and I just um, wiped, wiped it with the little wipe for a little bit and they came up. So, um, I think that's good that this, these, I'm going to use them on the back and see if I can get some of these little, um, glue, 
glue spots off of here. Um, Cause I didn't really realize this is kind of this suede -y kind of feel. It's got a little bit of a suede feel. So I didn't realize it was gonna pick up that glue so much. So, so um, that's my little book. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, thanks for coming along um, on this little journey. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the other videos in this collaboration. Um, there are quite a few. Um, so you can um, search Christmas in July, hashtag Christmas in July 2022, I believe. Um, the, um, the hashtag is in the description box with all the other information about this collaboration. So you can go check all of that out. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.